Okay, hello everyone, and welcome to development of a Leif space plane in Kerbal Space Program 2 Early Access. I'm going to attempt this. We want a space plane that can go to Leif and come back. So somehow we have to get to between that and that. And I guess it's going to be a regular fuel adapter. I just wish uh, this slope and that slope was the same. <laughs> it's annoying. Maybe I could just use a fairing, but we we need the... Well, okay, actually I have, I have an idea. I'm sure this will be structurally sound and everything. Oh, okay. Yes. No! <laughs> uh, I guess it can't do that sort of thing. <gasps> no, it stayed. Okay, what the heck? <laughs> anyway, I don't understand the rules. And obviously we'll be using this puppy. 10,000 meters per second. I was hoping for a little bit more. We'll have to get a feel for how much methane we do need. Well, it's long, which is gotta be dangerous for landing on lathe. Especially since we're gonna be landing plane style. That's gonna be a problem, but we'll deal with that when we get there. So I think we're just going to carry the whiplashes because we're not going to be carrying any oxidizer for the rapier. So these get 13 tons. We're probably going to need at least 10 of them. We need a lathe, a color that will be unobtrusive on lathe, maybe. So, center of mass. Now this has to be really balanced. Uh, it does, a center of mass can't move around too much. So... Right now, I bet it's center mass will. Okay, so we really want the center mass to be a little bit further forward. And so we're just gonna move the jets. We could probably tuck the engine a bit, but yeah, we'll just move the jets. We don't have any thermal heating, so we don't have to worry about the uh, protecting the engine sticking out there. As awkward as that is, and the fact that they're going to be blasting the body of it. We'll wait until they make that more realistic too. I think the center mass more or less doesn't move there. We'll, we'll call it we'll call it the anaconda. How about that? Uh, in uh, I think there was an elite ship like that, right? Should we ever use medium or large wings, or should we always go with small wings so that they're light? This is a very important question. I mean, that's a pretty big wing. Now it's just uh, like one of those warbirds from Star Trek. We should have it high mounted and swooping down. And I should re reverse how the engines are mounted. That's a stabilizer? Hold on, maybe I got the wrong piece. But the stabilizers would be smaller. Nope, I guess they can be as big as the wings. Wait, 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 wait. The stabilizers, the small stabilizer can be bigger than the small wing? I was not informed of this. It's got a thicker root. But what are its aerodynamics? It's lighter. It's half the mass of the wing. We could we could definitely have improved on our uh, plane yesterday if I had known that. It has the same apparent impact tolerance. Max temp, well, we don't have to worry about that yet. Um, we don't have any other information. Is it... Aerodynamically efficient. No, the all moving is this control surface one. This one is all moving. This one has a control surface on it. And it's functionally the same as the wing, really, except lighter. I don't know. I guess we'll have to test it. Maybe we should test both versions. The wing version and the stabilizer version. 
we don't need to dock any to anything, so in theory we don't need RCS. But we might find out in the fullness of time that I'm wrong about that. Landing gear. We'll have the big ones back there. Oh, maybe we should just go with the XL. We'll see. Our Delta V has gone down by quite a lot. Those jet engines are blasting everything in sight. Well, um... So, maybe we have to put wings. Structural linkage failure on the transform. I mean, we could put a strut or something. Let's try and put a strut, but that... We, we want it to survive for, um for leaf though, so we probably want something a little bit better than that. But we'll try and strut them just for science. Okay, now it's got struts on, are you happy? We shouldn't be able to use these stabilizers like this anyway. I mean, these are extremely light pieces. We may might not have enough pitch authority. Oh, just as I say that. But that's an awful high speed to need to uh, get off the runway with. Past Mach 1 already. Jeez, we can dump two engines. This is performing a lot better than I thought it would. And we have way too much fuel. Well, let's just try to get to orbit. That's not helping. Go faster, please. Okay, well, we're carrying way too much. Oh, now we can hear the rocket engine. But we were carrying too much methane, obviously. The thing is, we've got this fuel tank in here that we apparently don't need. I need something else then. We need like a structural part. That could work. I mean, we could just do it like that. But then I have to edit this fairing, and that's tricky. Because I can't even reach that wrench. <laughs> Let me just take this part off. But then I don't even know how wide to make it. Well, that was lucky eyeballing. Now the whole thing is longer, which means we're much more likely to scrape the tail off. You know what? Let's just make the back one smaller. Okay, and we had too many engines. We'll just take those two off. On principle, maybe we should take the ones off that are torching the wing, but... Uh, let's see what we can do with just eight. I like having them all the way around, though. I might need to move that canard further forward just so that we can rotate earlier. Far would have a fit. Oh, it wants to pitch down for some reason. Come on, come on. Well, it's not going as fast as it did before. But we're also a little bit higher up here. We still have too much fuel. But then, when we get to Leif, we'll need to be carrying this fuel. 
so that we can get back off the ground. So having about half of it reserved for Leif is about right, probably. Oh, wow, we only have 40 tons of that. Let me just go all rocket with it. Somehow we had one of the tanks empty. Now we're nowhere near the jewel window, I don't think. I don't know if that Delta V is reading is the rocket engine Delta V or some weird combination of the jet engines and rocket engine. Okay, this can get to orbit, but we weren't carrying all the hydrogen we were supposed to be carrying. We need to check whether I can get off the runway like that. Uh, and while, while we're at it, we might as well time warp to the jewel window. This is working out. I thought we were just going to do a flight test, but darn it. Um, we're pretty close. That's got 20. That's the one. Well, at least it was the center one. The center one's the best one to have accidentally had empty. Because that means it wouldn't affect the balance that much. Okay. The things Bob does for science. It's gotta be tough getting off the surface of Leith though. Without ripping the landing gear apart. It's not like we have a runway there. Landing's gonna be bad too. I forgot to action group things. Gosh darn it. We lost some EC somehow. It's it's draining now. It's still draining. That's not good. I hope I uh, I guess that's the reaction wheel maybe. Oh, the lack of consumption's been fixed. Great, just what I always wanted. Idle consumption. I don't know what kind of consumption it is. I just hope my engine can replenish it somewhat. Well, I mean, it is basically a transfer, so we can sort out the details later. It's never entirely right about the burn time. Okay, well, fine, we'll go. Okay, let me just get rid of this plot. Oh, we're already going past, okay. All right, mid-course adjustment. It's it, it's saying that I entered the SO, SOI of Leaf, right? We'll figure out whether it's actually able to capture us later. Okay, so there's our plane. On we go to Leaf. Well, we're gonna light the engines anyway, so I guess it's all right to try and use SAS. It overshot. And it's not trying to get back. Okay, maybe a little bit of thrust. Let me see what this is doing now. Okay game, we had some sort of encounter with Lathe. Well, apparently not. But we have an encounter with Tylo there. Hmm. 
Well, it's hitting Tylo. Okay, that's getting us into orbit. That seems promising. But can it deliver? Can we possibly do this very precise maneuver? Oh! Um... Us crashing into it. We can fix that when we get there. Crashing is good. Alright. Let's go to Jewel.